Coming up, the latest quantum computer news from, McDade, Quantum. Network. Be sure to like and subscribe. To get notifications on our daily quantum news be sure to click the top bell when you subscribe. Raytheon. Quantum Engineering and Computing. Quantum engineering is an emerging field that fuses physics, engineering, and computer science. It incorporates radical new ideas for computing, materials, devices and sensors. Raytheon's quantum engineering and computing team is developing this next generation technology, and exploring new ways to apply it to computing, sensing, and communication. QEC Technical Areas Quantum Computing Classical cryogenic computing. Quantum materials. Quantum devices and sensors. Optics and integrated photonics. Quantum computing. Superconducting qubits. Scientists in Raytheon's cryogenics laboratory are studying qubit systems based on superconducting circuits. These systems are cooled to millikelvin temperatures and controlled with fast microwave electronics. To meet the demands for complex experiments, Raytheon has developed custom microwave hardware called the Arbitrary Pulse Sequencer, or APS, to control a large number of qubits with complex gate sequences. Raytheon has also developed a low-latency feedback system with a field programmable gate array for determining the state of their quantum circuit, a key capability for implementing error correction. Quantum Process Verification as current quantum devices grow in size, existing techniques to diagnose error and characterize operations become impractical. Raytheon is developing novel approaches to verification and characterization of quantum devices that can be practically applied to present day devices, and those expected in the near future. These developments include approximate approaches to characterization, and system wide benchmarks. Quantum algorithms. Raytheon's work in quantum algorithms spans two key areas. Quantum walk algorithms, which are useful for optimization problems. Quantum algorithms for the physics simulations such as plasma dynamics and other high-energy physics models. Quantum control. Raytheon's team develops hardware, gateware, and software for dynamic quantum information processing experiments with superconducting qubits. In dynamic experiments, Qubit state information is used to change the implemented control sequence in real time. Classical cryogenic computing. Quantum control with cryoelectronics. To build a superconducting quantum computing system, qubits, as well as surrounding classical electronics, must be scalable. Raytheon has reported on a key supporting classical technology for microwave-controlled superconducting qubits that would enable scaling of a quantum computer beyond impending I.O. heat load and bandwidth bottlenecks. And Raytheon is exploring applications of scalable cryogenic technologies for qubit systems that include cryogenic digital logic, such as SFQ technology and superconducting microwave components. High-speed, low-power memory for cryocomputing. Raytheon is exploring low-power memory technologies, including the integration of superconducting circuits with spintronics. Spintronics systems include spin-orbit transfer ferromagnetic memory, which can operate at superconducting circuit temperatures while providing fast, high-density, low-power random access memory located near cryogenic processors. Quantum Materials Research in materials science is a key propellant for technological advancement. To face the demands for increasing computational power and sensing capabilities, Raytheon studies emerging 2D materials with quantum properties that can be exploited in novel electronic devices. One of these wonder materials is graphene, an atomically thin mesh of carbon atoms through which electrons can move relativistically as if they possess no mass. Making use of the minute specific heat of these electrons, their research shows that graphene can detect photons with high sensitivity in wide bandwidth, from microwave to infrared frequencies. In addition, Raytheon now has the ability to stack layers with different characteristics into complex heterostructures that can be matched within one device to suit the intended application. 
Raytheon is also exploring new states in Josephson junctions integrated with topological materials. Quantum devices and sensors. Quantum limited amplifiers. In order to perform high fidelity readout and control superconducting qubits, it is necessary to have microwave devices that can amplify quantum signals with low noise and insertion loss. Raytheon is studying parametric amplifiers that have a wide amplification bandwidth of several gigahertz and high saturation power. This enables the amplification of multiple readout tones at different frequencies. Novel non-reciprocal microwave components. Raytheon is also studying different applications of parametric interactions. By exploiting the interference between multiple parametric processes in the same device, they obtain directional amplification and non-reciprocal propagation on a superconducting chip. While commercial RF circulators are usually used for this purpose, they are bulky and noisy components that cannot be integrated with their quantum devices. Optics and Integrated Photonics Raytheon's group researches optics and integrated photonics for a broad range of application areas both in the classical and quantum domains of sensing, computing, signal processing, communications, and metrology. Examples of ongoing research projects for the aforementioned applications areas are 1. Electro-optic classical slash quantum transducers and sensors 2. 3. Nitride integrated photonics 3. Silicon photonics for classical slash quantum signal processing, I.O., analog RF 4. Chip scale frequency combs for PNT 5. Chip scale free space communications 6. Developing heterogeneous electronic slash photonic platforms 7. Integrated photonics at cryogenics Donate by Patreon or PayPal. Support the channel with a 50, 25, or $5 donation, or any other amount you choose. Your donations are greatly appreciated and allows McDate Quantum Network to continue to produce great news and content on the major players in quantum computing.